Self-determination is complete. I am made for battle. My armor shall dull their blades and my sword shall cleave their flesh. Well, there's some logic in your reasoning, but generally speaking, you're an idiot. loop hero last, since last we played there has actually uh, been an update uh, I don't know all the details about it but I do know that the big thing that we got was the ability to basically pause you can basically pause everything so apparently we can upgrade stuff so let's go I think there's probably a reason why I didn't upgrade those but whatever I'm upgrading this time um, so yeah, my understanding is that uh, well, actually I can actually look at just the news uh, in the store, but uh, but basically my understanding is that there were it was a relatively large patch. Um, let me look at the patch notes, uh, and the the big thing, the big thing, was that we get the ability to re reload stuff um, or like we can s we can save the game on the go that's right there's a perks deck we got up to four times speed and uh, better inventory management and stuff like that uh, three new enemies three new tiles and three new enemies but it's up to the hero to find them which is interesting um, so if we look at our deck I feel like I need to try some other stuff. Oh, interesting. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, there was, right, Bookery, Smith's Forge. Right, we wanted this because we needed to get the enemy from it. So we haven't found that enemy. I'm starting to remember. Um, we can... Right, these are the trait decks. Okay, so we can turn these on or off. These are the ones that just exist. Um... We can remove the ones that are technically just bad. Um, I feel like I should play a different character. I really haven't played much Rogue. Partially because I don't like Rogue, but yeah. We, we played it once and I didn't enjoy it very much, but that doesn't mean that it's not actually good. Um, we have a bunch of alchemy shenanigans going on here, but I think what we're gonna do is we're going to, I actually need to beat the Lich some more. So we're going to go all the way back to the start, because um, if we look at the encyclopedia, uh, I'm missing like a bunch of tiles, which is silly. Um, and we, if we look at the lich, no, oh, never mind. I guess I've gotten them all. The only one that we don't have is this. So I guess we just do fourth expedition because I hate myself. But we are, I am sticking to a very limited. Uh, okay. okay, just accidentally clicked out. Um. I wanted to hit the re the continue button. So my understanding is, yeah, we've got we can we can increase speed of everything. 
Oh, suburbs are literally a thing. very interesting getting all these suburbs, I'm not gonna lie. But going this fast is very convenient. I feel like the Smith's Forge doesn't actually help us, but... Alright, so how's this river gonna go? It, this, see, that doesn't seem very useful. I guess it could go this way and wind around. Alright, now I get a bunch of gear. seems useful. The max HP is literally useless because of our crypt. So the evasion is the winner. Um, we've got four weapons. These are clearly the best ones. Decent evasion, so this isn't too bad, actually. Alright. After losing 2% of your HP and bell, I will evade all attacks for 2 seconds. Where is the quantity of items received in the camp on the camp tile by 3 while increasing the quality? That means we'll get better stuff. We'll get less stuff, we'll get better stuff, which is fine. back to life. That time it didn't, thank goodness. Stupid like We're getting a lot of bonus experience. The question is whether these are being doubled by rivers. I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna be blowing up those anyway, so.
bandit towns can go die in a fire. Okay, so 15 bonus experience, 16 bonus experience. It does, in fact, double. All right, they have to be built next to adjacent suburbs. Okay, so we're going to be blowing up suburbs at some point. I guess that's fine. Um, pure damage, okay. 13 to 20 seems really good. That ups the evasion bonus. So it's between these two, right? I can get three more evasion bonus, or I can increase my crit damage. I think I'd rather have the evasion bonus. Evasion, I know, does have a cap, which is depressing, but you know. I replaced the wrong thing. Fuck me, dude. for that, but whatever. We'll do treasury things, and then I'll blow up the treasury. <laughs> Fighting against three or more enemies will grant you an additional trophy. Suspicious, the suit of armor just living here on the road, and wait, are you alive? Overfilled with existence. I don't understand. What should I do? What does it mean to be alive? What is existence? Let's not dig too deep yet. First questions first. You're quite a big guy, so protect the helpless or help us in our work. Can you forge metal, or do you see yourself as a cook, perhaps, or a weapon in my hand to kill, to slay? You stand in front of me, so I must be supposed to fight you. Chopping wood or harvesting wheat are also good options. My self-determination is complete. I am made for battle. My armor shall dull their blades and my sword shall cleave their flesh. Well, there's some logic in your reasoning, but generally speaking, you're an idiot. Seems the only way to make the world less aggressive is by, well, by being aggressive. Another soul is lost. If it had a soul, that is. It's a good question. I actually don't know if it had a soul. It's annoying, but we'll deal with it. Um, I, I honestly have not been paying attention. Uh, still 9% invasion. 19 to 29 damage. It's better than the axe. Suburbs are an interesting little thing. So 
a, an interesting little thing. I'm not quite sure what I what I make of them just yet. I don't have any healing. Actually, no, we got 6% vampirism somewhere. I mean, I'm not terribly complaining because we're getting some healing out of it as well as max HP, but... We got us some smoke damn. And we're also getting extra trophies, which is super nice, so... Wow, this is like all bad, but let's go. Yeah, it's just kind of bad. Um, we can, wow, we can hold ten potions. That's insane, actually. Doesn't seem entirely unreasonable. Well, I'm gonna want that to be a vampire mansion, maybe? I don't know. It's actually hard to say. Maybe I can roll into an oblivion because that would be useful. I actually don't know if we're going to win this fight. I'm not going to lie. I mean, we have a resurrection, so I think I'm... As long as I get him to half. He's not attacking my wolf rat. rat or wolf, yeah, wolf rat. At all. Nailed it. Alright. 10% evasion and so much other stuff. Or we could just go with 20% evasion. Three to forty five damage, hot damn. All right, the armor doesn't really help us. Um, I mean, we're taking this like guaranteed. I think we lower our evasion to up our damage by just a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna have to blow that up. Shit. Now we got books to deal with.
Oh, this is a little bit of an odd. God damn it. I missed it. Gosh, we're almost to the second boss, even. For each missing 10% of max speed, there is a 5% chance to take for 1,000 damage. Yeah, okay. Getting max HP for trophies is basically a max HP per enemy, which is pretty good, it turns out. At least in my opinion. Got all the suburbs, I'm eventually gonna blow them away, I imagine. It takes a little while, but we finally got one of those. I don't know if this is a waste. It probably is. We killed the vampire before we could summon the bats, which is good and bad. It's good because we don't have to deal with the bats, it's bad because killing the bats would be an extra max HP. So from these guys we don't keep getting trophies, so... We still get our max 3 HP from killing them because they are considered to have souls. Oh, he's a quest. He's a quest! This way, I'm actually more inclined to cut through there instead of meet the rivers up here. I don't know. I'm not expecting us to survive this run, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. All damage done to this creature is reduced to 1 HP. Oh, Jesus. Always becomes the first target in each battle. Alright, I hate this enemy. We're, we're, we're going to lose. We're going to die right here. Hell, we might even die twice. And you might think I'm joking. But I, no, I think we're dead. I think we're dead right here. We are so dead. Alright. Living armor is incredibly broken, and I hate it. All right, but that's okay. Uh, we got some stuff in the encyclopedia, which we then presumably don't have to worry about again. I think suburbs are interesting. I'll be the first to say that. I, I think they're interesting, and I think they're good early. I think they're bad late, or bad later. But at the same time, yeah, I don't, I don't love them. 
like they take up a lot of space they have to be adjacent to each other I don't know what happens if you like cut them off with a river I definitely misplayed that I think now I think doubling them is reasonable is the thing I think maybe I don't start the river in the corner I think I start the river like one in and run it down and then like as I go I don't know it's an interesting thought but I think this puts a, a good cap on this episode which honestly I was I was planning to just be using the uh, the fact that we could save an exit because I needed to have an end time for this one uh, but this kind of just works itself out uh, and also proves that I'm just really bad at all the characters except the necromancer I guess I'm probably decent at the work but I'm definitely bad at the rogue um, but either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time as we probably give this another go. Uh, but until then, keep your gears turning. <laughs>